home girls welcome back to our channel that's right our channel because we're in this together we're taking a look at some customers and getting some insight deep matt one of the managers excuse me can you tell me some of the issues you have with shoppers thrift store shoppers pet peeves let's see okay this is a good one right here every thrift store employee hates this if something falls off we got one hanger either it's stuck up or it's on the floor and they just mosey on with their business. We might be interested in this nice blouse. We're shopping, we're shopping. All of a sudden we change our mind. We just find the closest rack. Stick it on there. Because, I mean, I feel like you're talking about me. It is 100% our jobs to pick up. We understand that. But sometimes just be a little mindful if something hits the ground. It takes two seconds to pick it up, put it on a hanger and put it back. So be kind to the employees, especially this one. Tell them Demi sent you. And if people need them, I give them to them. Oh, you're buying for other people? Yes, sometimes. Sometimes I wear it down. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I could just give it away. That's wow. Cool. Do you have like a non-profit or? I'm trying to get something like that. I want to um, get a non-profit where young ladies now that... Um, trying to seek jobs, how to present themselves to go get a job and what to wear, stuff like that. Y'all, this her cart. <laughs> What's in your cart? Let's see what I got in here, y'all. Let me see. Let me know if I'm They're cute. Out. You Put can't go wrong on. with shorts. Um, I really just got a lot of random stuff, to be honest. <laughs> just a lot of random stuff, stuff I can wear to work. Okay. It's the it's the polo vest and stuff for me. I'll yes. Polo here. But I just got a lot of random stuff to be honest. Is that your bag? Oh, and I got this. This is the only Ooh. bag I found. So I thought it was kind of cute. Right? It is cute. I love it. So yeah, I think that's cute. But that's what I got. Yes. Honestly, it is kind of hard, but you really just have to take your time and like look for everything. Just take some time out your day where you're not doing anything and just come dedicate your time and you'll find what you need to find. So has anyone ever taken anything out of your cart? No. <laughs> Can I have it? No. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm being nosy. Okay. Come around the corner. I see the yellow stitcher. What type of things do you have in your car and what type of things do you like to shop for? Currently, I have some Doc Martens, which I'm praying will fit me. Um, some Converse with a yes, more neutral I, pattern. Mm -hmm. And two pairs of brown or tan jeans. I like neutrals as much as possible, but Sometimes I just splurge to like a black outfit just for fun. Yes, I like that. I seen those and they weren't my size. I was like, somebody going to snatch them. And I hope they work out. Thank you. So what's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you like while shopping? Um, I found a stolen purse once. A stolen purse? Yeah, uh, a lady left her purse in a cart with like tons of shoes on top. And uh, she was running around the store crying, saying she lost her purse. And it was just abandoned by the bathroom. I guess she forgot she put it there. And she hugged me and cried in my shoulders. Oh, I found it. <laughs> that was so sweet. Did you go through it? Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks, girl, for taking time and talking with me today. Thank you. Hey, girl, hey. Hey, girl. So I want to know what type of things are you looking you for you while right you're shopping? I'm gonna put this lady know I was recording. I know, she just got out. No right, she did. <laughs> oh, what type of things you be looking for, girl? Um, it's, it just depends on how the week going. What I am like today, I I wasn't looking for this, but I just found them. Those are cute. But I like colorful stuff, so normally I just whatever something just be like, hey, and I'll be like. But I like, I wear casual stuff at work, so it'd be mainly that I work stuff in it, but that I can make look still look cute. Cause mm -hmm. I'd be like, you know, like, and sometimes it's hard to make like work stuff, like where I can transition to the club afterwards. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like true. Yeah. Like, okay, I got me a sports bra on up under this. Yes, I'm gonna pop the blazer exactly, off. I mean, exactly, pop the top exactly, off and put it on. Like it yes, going by my yes. business. 
Yes. So I got a question. So when you're stro scrolling on social media, right, what makes you interact with like a page that shows like people thrifting or shopping or styling? If I do interact, it's their personality. Like if they just like, but like, hey, you know, just it's just it's how I get the vibe that I get from them when I do it, and I might be like, oh, you know what? Let me comment because she just said something, and I'm just like, I gotta say something. So it's really kind of just what they say, the approach on how they do it that makes me feel like, okay, I want to comment. You know, like cause mm -hmm. I'm, I ain't no big commenter, but if I do, it's because they made me like, I gotta respond to this. Like, yeah, that like, is true. Like if it's outfit, I'm like. You just sometimes you just gotta say something. You just can't not say nothing. Oh, yeah. well, thanks, girl, for your time. No Thank you. You're welcome. All right, y'all. So I'm back minding somebody else's business, and they out here shopping. So hey, girl, hey. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> so can you tell me what you're looking for? Um, I'm just mainly looking for like work clothes and uh, maybe some stuff to put on my YouTube. That's about it. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. So what's your YouTube channel name Howdy and what do you do? Y'all follow me on um, YouTube. I'm still getting my little thing together, but you know, catch me over there too. All right, so <laughs> kind of take me through your process. Like what you got going um, on right now? I know that all of these sweaters and stuff is 50% off. So I'm trying to like get that because you know, it's cheaper right now. So, um, and the spring is coming up. So I'm just trying to find pieces that I can transition into like the spring summer type vibe. So. Oh. Y'all, this her cart. <laughs> What's in your cart? Let's see what I got in here, y'all. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I got these shorts, child. Who knows? I'm They're really cute. You can't go wrong on. with shorts. Um, I really just got a lot of random stuff, to be honest. <laughs> just a lot of random stuff. Stuff I can wear to work. Stuff I can kind of dress up. I got a lot of stuff. It's Dang. the it's the polo vest and stuff for me. Yes. Here. But I just got a lot of random stuff to be honest. Is that your bag? Did... Oh, and I got this. This is the only Ooh. bag I found. So I thought it was kind of cute. Right? It is cute. Oh, I love it. So yeah. I think that's cute. But that's what I got. Yes. So what do you say to people who say it's hard to find plus size clothes in the thrift store? Um it, I, Honestly, it is kind of hard, but you really just have to take your time and like look for everything. Just take some time out your day where you're not doing anything and just come dedicate your time and you'll find what you need to find. So has anyone ever taken anything out of your cart? No. <laughs> Can I have it? No. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no. On this episode of Madison Else's Business, I met a fellow creative. Do you normally shop with other people? No. Why? I'm looking for Kirby clothes plus size clothes that doesn't mean that the plus size clothes are only going to be in the plus size section you really really have to dig mm -hmm. has anyone take anything out your cart before no i've never had that happen honey i'm <laughs> guarded over that cart what I you know. what you do if somebody took something out your cart oh uh, what i would do if somebody took something out my car oh i would raise hell look i'm taking something out your cart what you gonna i would be like <laughs> you no, no, no. I wouldn't be like that, but I'd be like, oh, put it back, bitch, or something like that. I don't know. Like, excuse but, me. Oh, we would tussle. We would be in there tussling a little bit. A lady who was following me around kind of once, and she had this hacking cough. Yeah. And she wanted to talk. She she wanted to talk for some reason, and she was just really weird, and it was in this store. Read the caption and follow for more Thrift Adventures, homegirls.